All right. Um, so in this example, um, which you guys are going to be working on, basically they're asking us to solve our um, linear inequalities. So to do that, basically what we have to do is graph each of these linear inequalities separately. So both of these inequalities, I'm going to decide to graph using slope-intercept form. So to go ahead and do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for y in each case. So I have 2y, I'm sorry, 2x. 2x plus y equals 3, and 3x minus y equals 2. Now, again, the reason why I'm solving them with equals rather than inequalities is when graphing, especially in slope-intercept form, we think of things as terms of y equals mx plus b, and I'm going to sneeze. Um, oh, I love to see. Every single time when I say I'm going <laughs> to sneeze, I don't sneeze. I like sneezing. <sighs> All right. So I set them as equations, so now I can rewrite this in slope-intercept form. So to do that, I subtract 2x on both sides, and I get y equals negative 2x plus 3. Over here, it's very, very important for us to understand, I'm actually going to leave my inequality left there. I don't actually know why I changed that. So here, I subtract 3x, and I have negative y is less than negative 3x plus 2. Now, notice, ladies and gentlemen, I am now going to be dividing by negative 1. Remember, whenever we divide, we flip our um, inequality symbol. Right? You divide it because you don't want y to be negative? Yes, yeah, all for y is positive. Now, we just identify our slope and our y-intercept. Here, my y-intercept is 3. So on the y-axis, I go up to 3. 1, 2, 3. My slope is negative 2. We always want to write our slope as a fraction. So that's going to be down 2 over 1. Notice that this is less than, so I'm going to have a dashed line. OK. Now we go ahead and go to this one. This one has a y-intercept of negative 2. Uh, make a point. Now my slope here is 3 over 1. So I'm going to go up 3 over 1. Notice that's greater than. So again, that's going to be a dashed line. All right. So now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what we're going to be looking at is applying our test points. Okay. So to do that, we need to determine a point that we can help us shade. And the best point to always pick that is, as long as it's not on your lines, is 0, 0. So I plug in 0 in for x and 0 in for y. So for this equation, because remember, this point 0, 0 has an x and a y coordinate of 0, 0. So therefore, I have 0 is less than 3. Is that true or false? True. So that was uh, this equation. Since that's true for this equation, I'm going to shade towards the test point. Okay. Now we go and craft this one. 0 is greater than negative 2. Is that true or false? False. True. True. So again, we're going to shade towards the true points. Now, um, you can see that this region is where it's true. This region where it's true for both inequalities. So that is where I'm going to shade. Oh, that's what I'm doing? I have to do that? Yep. On this, the three ones? No. On three.